please. Mr. Needles, can you take roll call for the record? Sure thing. Commissioner Bayako? Here. Commissioner Godioso? Here. Commissioner Brakowski? Here. Commissioner Neary? Here. Michael Pierce? Here. Myself, George Needles, present. Thank you. I'd like to welcome everybody to our caucus meeting, August 5th. Um, at this moment, I will take citizen comments. Anybody present would like to make any comments from the audience? Records show there are no comments from the audience. At this time, I'll take any comments via the phone. The phone number to call in is 571-748-4021. Again, the phone number is 571-748-4021. The code is 006-381-317-POUND. Again, the code is 006-381-317-POUND. To mute your phone, please dial star six. After I'm muting, please state your name, address, brief comment, and um, after that, we will be placed back on mute. We'll give it a minute for any comments through the phone. All right, let the record show there were no comments um, via our telephone tonight also. So with that said, I'll move on to our regular caucus meeting reports, and we'll start off with our township engineer, Ms. Lisa Catania. Thank you, Mr. President. You do have a copy of my written report. Um, as you know, we're proceeding with the Chichester Avenue streetscape. We do have an invoice, which is a community development block grant. Uh, portion of the project uh, that will go to the county for approval that's in the amount of $34,471 uh, we also have um, we also have some other items uh, for the streetscape right now as you can tell we're getting closer to finalizing the streetscape the the walkways are in the Yeah, stamped concrete. I'm sorry, stamped concrete uh, along the edge of the of the uh, curb is in. Sidewalks are in. The foundations for all the lights are in. So we are mo moving pretty quickly. We're expecting that, that project to be it will take about another six weeks to for total completion. Um, the uh, Wawa we do have an escrow release number seven. And that's in the amount of thirty-seven thousand. Bring my report. Uh, thirty-seven thousand some odd dollars. Excuse me for a second. It's here. Thirty-seven one oh seven. I don't know why I did that. But, uh, which we are recommending for approval. The road program. We heard from AF Damon. They are expecting to be here, weather permitting, in the next two weeks. Uh, they are currently finishing up a one other municipality. They have something to do for about three days, and then they will be in Upper Chichester Township. All residents that are affected will be notified, and we will have a schedule for um, posting. The uh, stormwater projects, we are currently, we have the uh, specifications for the Peach Street complete it. We're expecting to have that in the paper next week. So we'll have the, the results of that bid uh, 
for the September meeting. Uh, otherwise, uh, I can report some general progress. We did receive, I believe today, the Duncan resubmission. Uh, Larry Jackson, we will have to take action on that at the, at the September meeting unless there is another extension or the resubmission of plans. Uh, we did receive a, the resubmission or actually the preliminary submission of the 10 lot subdivision on at 650 Cherry. Uh, 820 Columbia, we have not gotten the information that would satisfy the resolution at this point. However, there has been a warehouse land development plan submitted to Lower Chichester Township in communication with Matt Hootman yesterday. He is planning on doing a formal submission to Upper Chai as well. So we should be seeing that shortly. The, um, I did sign off on the record plans for the Mitchell subdivision. And I only had one other thing that I think would be of interest to any residents that are listening. The PennDOT has notified that there will be lane closures along 322 and Chichester Avenue in Bethel and in Upper Chichester Township starting Monday, August the 9th. Uh, the lo work locations, it's for um, geotechnical work that needs to be completed for the 322 project. The work locations are 322 between Featherbed Lane and Creek Parkway and Chichester Avenue between US 322 or Conchester Highway and Larkin Road. And that is weather permitting. Uh, that's all I have, unless anyone has any questions. Any questions for our engineer? Um, the Peach Street, did we get the easements, George, that we needed for the other two? Because But we're putting it up to bid already? The, the problem is, is we, 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 we have three more weeks, so I'm hoping that we'll have that done. Okay. Because the, I, I don't want to get into the situation like on Ryan's Rock mm -hmm. where, you know, Absolutely. we did all that work. And then, mm -hmm. uh, so, um, one thing that last year on the, um, I know I'm doing the other part of trophy, the, the top half we did, um, remember Mrs. Franks had to move and we didn't seal the properties, um, say, but, um, the three, for 334 or 4334 in that area is there any way we can get that sealed this year yeah okay. they uh, damon will do it for us thank you mm -hmm. I have a couple uh, just a couple things uh, larry jackson is that just a reverse subdivision or is that what his application went into the planning and the only hiccup at the time was the extension of the road that is correct And another, a couple quick things. Um, the red light on Chai Meeting House going southbound. I know it's a township's responsibility with all the traffic lights. Once it's gone, it's turned over to us, and then it's our repairs and maintenance and everything. But three of the intersections have one, I guess, a four or five light for the turn and arrows or something. Why going southbound do they have two? Is there a need for two going southbound? Meaning going from from here towards I-95. They have two of them. I'm just I'm already looking at it in the long run. Is do we need two there or why was there two? My my assumption would be, and I don't know the answer to that question, so I'd have to check with Al Federico to see if there was a reason for that. But my assumption is that there must be something with with uh, sight distances that you would need that second. And I, and I don't know right. that, but that would typically be why. If they come up with a halfway decent answer, I'm just saying, because all three, all the other corners all only have one. So Understood. Why do we have two? That means it's more maintenance for us and more expense mm -hmm. for us down the road. Whoever had to pay for it in the first place, uh, don't get me wrong, residents love meat and house road. And can we, if you're talking to Al, maybe Al might be able to find this answer. About the, I'm not quite sure I haven't timed it, but I do know because that was part of that process the second time around. I just want to make sure we still have 13 seconds minimum. I mean, that was the max they would give me back in the day for the other side. Uh, 
at the beginning, I know it was being worked out, and it was like one car I got through, and next thing you know, it's turning yellow. Mm -hmm. It seems to be a little longer, but I just want to make sure we have the max so we keep the traffic moving and we don't have that problem. Sure. Number two or on it is meeting house road, and maybe, I don't know if the chief has an answer on this one or not. We have a new turn on red on, up on the new lights, but we still have them on the bottom on Chai or Meeting House Road on the poles that says no turn on red, Monday to Friday, 8 to 4. Are we, are, is that a, is that a, I'm not saying it, it may confuse some people, but they, the top one says no turn on red, but do we need it for 8 to 4? Was there a reason why 8 to 4 was put on Meeting House Road and it's not up on the top part? That again, I'd have to look at the just, I mean, at the permit plan things, and let you know. Yeah. It's good either way. It's up there, no turn on red. But Saturday and Sunday, somebody decides to make the right hand turn. There's one sign on the ground says Monday to Friday. Yeah. So Understood. Just want to make sure everybody's not so. That's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, any other questions for our township engineer? If not, we'll move on to our township solicitor, Mr. Michael Pierce. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, mostly routine matters. We're spending a lot of time getting things ready for the uh, for the bond issue. A lot of document review, a lot of changes, a lot of pricing information, and I expect that that will be completed within the next several months. Uh, things have been going along pretty well, but it's been uh, uh, it's been good so far. Uh, the, the the other thing that uh, that I know keeps coming up, different things, property maintenance issues, citations, that type of thing. The courts have finally started to schedule a lot of them in court. We've had three. Uh, we had two this week, and we have one next week. Specifically, Commissioner Neary, those uh, the Lock and Road properties with the uh, drainage, the Burkle property. And Rosales, um, uh, I'm sorry. I believe Rosales was today. Rosales was Luongo today. Mwango was, was, that's correct. So uh, just for, for informational purposes, met with the attorney and um, on Rosales. I think we're getting some resolution. They're getting some engineer, uh, some engineering uh, out there. That, and I basically told them they need to, cooperate with Burkles and get this done because one without the other is not going to deal with it. And I know they're having some difficulties with uh, with whatever. Uh, I think we're going to be able to get some kind of resolution uh, of that particular problem. So uh, I felt we made good progress on that. Luongo, uh, we, we, were, we won that case. It's during the appeal period. I did want to say uh, to the board commissioners, Keith has really been doing a good job getting ready for these hearings. He's had pictures, he's had the citations, he's had the history, he's had everything lined up so that it's very easy to follow and very easy to go through. He's really been doing a good job on this. We, we were working hard on this to get a process down uh, and he's been doing very well. He, he's, he comes into court, he's ready, he's got his pictures and we've been able to get a lot of different things resolved. So. I just want to give him, you know, uh, props for doing, you know, making the effort and doing those types of things. Is one of the properties the meeting house road one? Is that Rosales? Yeah, that Not one yet. Is <laughs> that one is still in. Um, so other than that, everything else is in order. As I said, nothing, uh, no other major action items that we need to take care of. Yeah. Thank you for the update. Any questions for our solicitor, Mr. Yeah. Michael Pierce? Um, have you gotten a demand letter together for Creekside? Okay, so I, I got the information from, from the township manager. There is not that much money left in the escrow. Very little. Right. But Just so we're aware of that. I, I, I realize there's only about $3,000 between right. the two. Right. Okay. But he's if he doesn't do the work, at least we have recourse to that three thousand dollars to pay for what little work we can get done. Right. To look at least like we're trying yep. to. And, and I know I know that we've been working with the engineer, and Lisa did communicate with Mr. Costa as as late as this week. Right. I do not know whether he has responded. He, 
he, he, has, he has not he has not responded for several months we've been yep. talking about it for three or four months at least so i i think we need to move okay. forward thank you yep and i did have a request uh we had a request from mr moyer um to give him your um uh, email address but we haven't done that uh, <laughs> The HO, the COA president would like oh. your email address. <laughs> if you're sure, I can. You can give it to him. I probably will not respond unless I'm directed to do so from the board. But okay, then yeah. I won't give it to him. I'll tell him he has got a funnel approved myself. It, yeah, I mean, I I, I represent you guys. So. That's fine. That's fine. Any questions for Mr. Pierce? If not, we'll move on to our manager report, Mr. Ford Pierce. Good evening, everybody. Uh, lengthy list of items here. I'll try to get through them pretty quick. The first item is we have an escrow release for MIPC project. Uh, this was the project on the uh, the, the property uh, over there on Cherry Tree Road that was completed quite some time ago, and they've uh, submitted their request for release, and that's been approved. So it'll go to the board for sec uh, for official approval. 2908 Larkin Road. Uh, this is a residential property that is, uh, they're, they're building a new uh, garage. Uh, they're requesting a waiver from the site escrow of about, I believe it's about $1,500 for the, uh, the project. Now, uh, they have already paid into the escrow. So if, effectively, if this was granted by the board, they, you'd be releasing it early from when you would release it anyway. Um, we looked up the statistics. We've had about eight projects uh, over the past year that have paid into the site escrow um, for residential projects, and we haven't had granted any waivers on those eight projects. Um, and there has been some communication with the ward commissioner about this and the commissioner from the department. Um, I guess I'm, I'm looking for if, if this wants to go forward to be an agenda item or if this is something that I should just be responding to that at this point, by the time we act on it and get everything through, they're pretty much going to be, they're going to be close to finishing up their job where it would, we'd be able to release it most likely by the next meeting or the meeting after anyway, depending on it. Well, as, as I stated in my email, and I think I copied you, yep. um, and I agree with the uh, engineer, I, I don't want to get into a ad hoc type of release on different escrows. Um, we need to get into a situation where either we have criteria that we use to judge a thing, uh, a, a situation. So I don't, I don't want to get into the situation of releasing it without some type of criteria. And the other problem is, is because um, it, it's, they're, they're related to a township employee that I don't want to look like it's favoritism to, that we're doing this. Yeah, and in general, the waiver criteria is that there's an extreme hardship, um, and there isn't anything that would line up with that. With, with the escrow will be released after the process. Correct. So I'll, I'll find the release waiver and I'll send it to the waiver. Um, the next item is uh, we have a resignation uh, letter from a part-time police officer. Sean Douglas has accepted a position full-time with a neighboring municipality uh, in Delaware County. So we'll have that to act on. The finance director search update, uh, the, the search is closed. We did get a, a relatively good amount of candidates that have been funneled through Dave Wagum from the Manor Center, uh, Lafayette College. He, uh, we've conducted three uh, preliminary phone interviews with three candidates, and they're set for another three interview preliminary interviews on Monday with three additional candidates. Uh, these interviews, these preliminary interviews, are being conducted by Dave Wagum, myself, uh, Mike uh, Sinaglia, and uh, Marco Benelli. Um, we are anticipating that we will have a a down to about three or four candidates that we'd like to get to that next interview stage. I, I think it would be prudent to have two commissioners uh, in on those interviews to try to narrow that down till, till we get to like one or two candidates for the whole board to interview. Um, uh, Joe Neary, uh, I've spoke to Joe Neary as the, the finance uh, uh, commissioner, and I believe that he should be one and there should be a, a, any other commissioner as you guys see fit. So uh, we would be setting up those interviews most likely the not this upcoming week, but the week after that, 
So anybody that is available, or I think you know, if you guys decide on someone that you'd like to have there. Oh yeah, they will eventually. Like we're just trying to cut the group down of like asking them very specific. So we're gonna cut our group now. He cut down about 35 applicants to six that he said that these are the most qualified people. We're phone interviewing the six to see if there's a, a good couple of them to get to that next level, and then we'll dwindle them down again. So if you could just let me know who that's going to be so I can look at all the schedules. Okay. Uh, the annual PML meeting is coming up, and we'll need to appoint uh, a, dele a delegate or two, uh, depending on who's going to be attending the meeting. I know uh, Commissioner Whitaker has expressed that she'll be attending the meeting, so she can be a voting delegate. Uh, Ed, were you were you going to? Yeah, it's in Lancaster. It's in Lancaster. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll okay. Community Day. Hmm. October October 9th that weekend. October 9th that weekend. Yeah, I'll let you know. All right, appreciate it. Uh, we will have to uh, put on the delegate, so if you can't attend, it's no right. big deal. We just need to make sure we have two. Okay. Uh, you have a uh, the, the Linwood Heights plan. Uh, this is a plan that initially went through uh, a grant from the Redevelopment Authority through uh, Delta Development. Uh, after we got that plan, uh, there's been some uh, massaging of it by the township planner and by Catania Engineering to uh, get get a couple more like concrete actionable items out of it. You have a draft of that. Uh, ideally, we'd like some comments back from the draft of anything you see that you, you think uh, would is is obtainable. Anything that you think that would, that you, you like, you don't like, um, so that we can get that back, get comments back, and and review that a little bit further. Uh, American Recovery Funds Act update. We did receive our first uh, payment in American Recovery Act funds, but a little over $850,000 that is currently sitting in a dedicated fund at Pliget. I hope to, by September, have uh, a, a decent breakdown to you of the different options that it, it appears that would be feasible for us to utilize those funds based off of the criteria that they've given. Um, th it's still... Uh, relatively vague because it's still all preliminary rules, nothing final. So um, be hesitant to start spending the money, but I think it, we absolutely should at least start getting together what are the different options of how that could work. Um, budget finance meeting, we've reached out to all the department heads to start putting together everything for the budget. And Monday, August 23rd at 7 p.m., we'll be having a meeting to discuss the half year finances and. Uh, talk about what everybody has submitted from the budget perspective. I think you're right, it is six o'clock. I will uh, I will verify that. Uh, bond update, so last Tuesday we had, uh, yeah. as, as Michael, Mr. Pierce uh, commented, we had our uh, call with S&P, that's a ratings call. Um, we had the call lasted about 45 minutes to an hour. It was a very good dialogue back and forth about how the township operates and you know how we got to kind of where we are right now and what, what, what are some of our financial goals for the future. Um, they've then since come back and asked for another slew of information, which we were able to provide them over this week. Um, August 10th, the, the way the ratings work is on August 10th, they will send us a report. We have two hours to review that report to ensure that everything in there is factually correct and that there's nothing in there that is uh, that, that cannot be released publicly. Um, in speaking with Mike Vind, he said he thought we did very well on the call, uh, and he, he assumed that we would not have too much difficulty with the review of that uh, uh, that the, that report. But all hands are on deck for that day. I've cleared my calendar, so as uh, Marco and uh, uh, Mike to just get into it. So Joe, if you're available, also would like to. Okay, we can email it to you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. <laughs> <laughs> It's tight, man. It is tight. 
it's it's it most again we we supplied most of the information to them so it's really just a review to make sure that they put it in the right order um, but we'll have our so we'll have our bond rating on uh, August 10th so uh, that'll set where our rates will be and uh, where we'll you know what, what everything will for most put everything in motion from there have the rates going back up yet lately they're down. Going back down they're down yeah. Yeah, so timing is looking like it's going to go very well. Like I said, Mike Vin was very uh, said the call went very well, um, and he, so he thinks that that is going to help us significantly. So uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we have to obviously wait to see, but uh, all things are aligning, looking very good for this. Um, and then we have a, a, a resolution and a, a, an agreement. Uh, this goes back, we did this a couple of years ago, a couple of times for training for the uh, police officers and the firefighters. Uh, it's essentially the uh, like vacant buildings uh, from PennDOT to allow them to utilize them for training. So it's going to be updated to include uh, a list of the buildings that will be uh, knocked down over the next couple of years. It's kind of a more of a proactive approach to just get these all on there to be able to do this going forward. Um, the only other thing I have, and uh, there's really nothing in here uh, right now to it because we're working on getting it together. Um, we're currently down three crossing guards and we're getting ready to uh, ramp back up. So we are going to need to figure out how to, to fill those positions. Um, Marco and Ray Fuller are working on putting together a matrix of, of pay uh, because a couple months ago there was a rate study done through Delaware County for uh, crossing guards. So we're trying to see where we kind of fall in line with that uh, from, from a perspective of recruiting. So if you know anybody that is interested or anybody out there in the public is interested in becoming a crossing guard, it's a very wonderful position. Uh, you get summers off, winter break, spring break. Uh, please stop by the police department and uh, you'll, they'll be able to get you an application. And uh, I believe that's all I have. The resolution stated August 5th. Should that be the 12th or are we voting on it tonight? It'll the draft, uh, all that will be going through and it will be changed to August 12th. Okay. Any questions for our council manager? Right, if not, we'll move on to our commissioner's report. We we'll start over with our vice chair, Mr. Tobacco. Thanks. Um, I don't have a whole lot to uh, go over tonight. The reports I'll have uh, next week, but I, I wanted to discuss something with the board that highway guys will probably approach me with. Um, things were short-handed and a little behind trying to get caught up on some stuff and all. Would there be uh, any, will we be able, what, what they asked if they could do, instead of guys taking a week off with pay, they work, could they just get a week pay? They, they, they wanted an additional week? Well, it's, it's basically a buyback, yeah. No. Instead of taking a week off and getting paid, give them a pay and they still work that week. What's the contract? Does it, does it affect the so from a budget perspective, we are in a good position where, uh, from with the salaries, that that could that could work uh, due to some things that happened throughout the year in the departments. Uh, the only thing it, it does it is not listed in the contract, so I don't know if that means we'd have to, um, you know, get like agreement from the shop steward if there'd have to be a vote or how that would work. But it, it, it would be a viable option to help uh, with, especially, you know, this this is, again, starts the time of year where the vacations start to ramp up again. And, How many uh, are you looking at? I don't know. I mean, I, me and Pub were talking, you know, that some guys said they would do something like that to help catch up. You know what I mean? Hmm. You could, you know, I'll at this point, I'll find out. At this point, we could absorb a week from each employee. We could. Okay. We wouldn't have a problem with doing that. Any judges there? Um, no, not unless anybody has any questions. All right, if there's no questions, uh, Whitaker is not present tonight. Uh, if there's anything 
specific address on the commission, Whitaker? Uh, just, just that summer camp went really well. Uh, it's over for the year, and the the so open gym is back open from eight to two uh, in, in, during the days, and um, the we'll have a little bit. I'll have a little bit more of a report next week as things come in. Greenwood current. Yep. So we may have a resolution next week for that. Uh, we've been discussing with Brian what those projects are. Um, there are a couple different options. We've also we've uh, you essentially can, the township can apply for up to three grants. One of them can be a partnership with a nonprofit. One of them can be for acquisition or development, and one of them can be for planning. Uh, we've reached out to. Uh, Bethel to see if there was any interest in possibly like a, a continuation trail network from here to to there. We uh, we have a, that adopted CBL uh, master park plan, so we have some some items that would be appealing to them based off of you know kind of what the what they're looking for. Um, we should have we should have something in front of you though, in the future. What was the name of that? Green. The Delco Greenways grant. A Greenway. Thank you. Um, the reports are on file. We have some for tonight. Uh, the rest will be for next week. Uh, the emergency management starts back up in September to next meeting. They were off for July and August, unless, fortunately, it stays quiet for, for the township. Uh, they did participate in this past Sunday, and I think the invite was also to the commissioners for, I think, next week. I have to look at the email for the new. Um, the Corn station that uh, Carl Smith for emergency management and the Brooklyn mm -hmm. Fire Company put together, and um, they they were there to learn how to do it. It's uh, pretty easy. It's not, a, but you need more than one person. It's a corn system for the firemen when they're out there on the uh, out on any calls in the summertime. It cools them down. It's a mist system, two tents, and they have chairs with. Uh, arms put the uh, cold water in to put the arms in to calm down so uh, a lot more than what we used to have when we just squirted a hose over our head but um they um the, yeah that was it <laughs> but they um the emergency management team is going to be able to be contacted we're going to try to communicate with them outside of the 911 center that if there is an issue and they need help basically all they need is a garden hose either off the truck with an adapter or the neighbor next door to the incident that something's going on so it's something that we put together um i think there's another demonstration at ogden fire company when name is creek road coming up i have to i thought i forwarded it to it, it might be next sunday or something i don't know i'll take a look he changed the date because he didn't have too many people showing uh it does take a little time to put up uh with one or two people but emergency management team wants to participate uh the booth went town center uh the the full reports should be should be in the package tonight. I'm not sure if it is. I know I have a copy of it. But the one for the uh, just the July focus was primarily collecting all the data from our June meeting. I can't believe it's August and we'll be next thing you know it'll be September and we'll be winding down this project uh, by February already. So I know they're gonna put some uh, online and hard copies of uh, stuff for more uh, surveys on on the internet and everywhere else throughout the businesses to get moving on that. So, Georgia, you covered the resolution for the fire department in the 322. And I'd still like to try to set up a meeting next week if possible with the medics and proceed on uh, the situation that's going on in the township with the medic service. And board of commissioners to meet afterwards. So. Other than that, that is pretty much it. Commissioner Rakowski. Uh, we'll move on to Commissioner Berger. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good evening, uh, the two guys that are here. Um, 
most of the reports will be available next week. Um, the only thing uh, that we do have in our package right at the moment is the tax collector's report. And I wanted to go over that with you if you have a few minutes after the meeting because I just wanted to check something on it. Um, but um, everything seems to be moving along. Um, I know it's been announced publicly. Have we uh, put it on our website about the tax collector being here to accept school taxes, even though? Yeah, it's a resource. Okay, thank you. That's all I have. Any questions for Commissioner Neer? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's good because I was just asked that question tonight uh, before tonight's meeting. Uh, you said there's something on the webpage, George, on when people could start coming up or come up to be able to pay the tax? Or yeah, the, is the 30th and the 31st, I believe. Okay. Right? So I just, I could relay that message to the resident. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no other questions for Commissioner Neary. We'll wrap up with my report. Uh, we went over uh, planning tonight. Um, uh, pending applications for zoning 3310 Market Street. Um, I believe the, comp the, the company's name is called Space Boy T shirt. They're going for a variance uh, for a sign in front of the building. I believe they, they're, um, they, they're spray painting something on the face of the building. Um, they're going for a variance for that in front of the zoning board. I see no re I see no reason for the for the board to oppose that. Um, it's fine. So the only other question I have, I know we sent out an email. Uh, I sent an email about a meeting with the professionals in Chicago. But I suggested tomorrow I think Brian Sabell responds back and just one curious if the county engineer would come. Any questions for me? Uh, just to, uh, I don't want people to take it wrong on what you just said about it. It's not <laughs> the, the picture on the sign for uh, Space Boy. It's not, um, I don't know if it was spray painting, but it was. It's more of artwork than spray paint. So, yes, I mean, it's, we it's do spray. have people spray painting signs and signs. Just don't want people <laughs> thinking, hey, we could go to spray paint a building, but it is artwork. I a t shirt place, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but I, I do agree. It, it is it's better than spray paint. I'm just saying it is nice artwork. I don't want to be people thinking, hey, let's go spray paint. I mean, we got enough issues with that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, any further questions for me? I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned. Thank you everybody for attending.